Hi. My name is Moby. Sometimes my mom calls me Moby Letty, but my real name is Moby, like the cool singer Moby. I'm a German short hair pointer and I'm almost five years old. I know I look older because all of this gray hair around my mouth. But this is a sign of maturity, you know? I was found by the GSP rescue team and then adopted by my family. Yes, I do have a sister, Bebel. She's also known as the brown German princess. Ah, you think it's funny, but I am the one who has to put up with her. Okay, I'm gonna tell you my story. Since I was a puppy, I loved playing fetch with my ball. I could play and jump non-stop until I got absolutely exhausted. My ball is my friend Wilson. You know, Wilson from Castaway. But because I'm much smaller than Tom Hanks, my Wilson is smaller too. I also love swimming and in the summer mommy take us to shore trips to Annapolis. Oh, there's nothing like rescuing poor Wilson out of the water. So many places These children of the breeze call the blue sky their home If they go just And last summer mommy put us all in the car. She took us to Dewey Beach. Oh, it was so much fun. Oh, hold on, hold on. This is my mom. She used to be a scientist. She's crazy, you know. She still does experiments with us. Like that so-called canine audio experiment. Let's hear it again. We're going to do here a canine audio experiment, okay? So this is speaker number one. It sounds pretty good. This is speaker number two. And now... Oh my god, she needs help. Somebody, please help our mommy. You know, she might be a little crazy, but she loves me. She gives me bones and she takes good care of me. Come on, let's go clean your ear. Yeah, she cleans my ears every night. It's very dirty, Mo. She always says that. My mom takes us everywhere she goes, and this summer she went to Rio. Guess what? We went too. We spent two months in Rio, going to the beach, making new friends, having lots and lots of fun. Oh, what an unforgettable summer! But this is when things start to change. Little by little, I start to feel this pain in my legs and hips, and couldn't play with Ilson or swim anymore. Just to go up the stairs became a big deal. I felt so depressed. Someone, please give me a Zola. You baby. I didn't want to eat anymore, so mom had to hand feed me, so I wouldn't die. 
That's when she had this idea to take me to see Anne Karen. She does acupuncture in dogs. I have to confess that I was very nervous and sniffing everything around. I was looking for a sweet spot and I finally found it. Oh yes, I did. So they started with the needles. And then they got these electrodes, boy that freaked me out. You think that I was in pain, but actually I love it. It felt so good, I felt so relaxed. She got this thing that made lots of smoke and had this funny smell. I think I know this smell. Yeah. No, no. Maybe not. Really cool, guys, but enough. I gotta go. Thank you so much. Appreciate. Thanks. And then I start feeling good again and ready for some cool and serious playtime with that girl Babel. <sighs> now I feel good and ready to go and I feel so hungry. I'm hungry like a wolf. <laughs> Ciao! Anyone interested in playing ball? Who wants to play ball?